So back to the factor on censored Texas annual report card on gun safety is in and the score is not good. The Giffords Law Center has given the state a failing grade, an F. Joining us now to explain the state's shortcomings, Joe Platt with the Giffords Law Center, named after the congresswoman who was shot and survived, Gabby Gifford. Uh, tell us why the state of Texas got an F. You know, it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. The the state of Texas got a, an F on our annual scorecard because, you know, fundamentally leaders in the state continue to refuse to pass some really basic common sense pieces of gun safety legislation that we know will save lives. And, and it's really unfortunate um, given some of the, the situations that we've seen play out in the state in recent years. Have you seen potential legislation that was in our legislature uh, that did not make it uh, anything that comes to mind that would have addressed guns in the state of Texas. Yeah, we were really proud to stand with families and survivors from Uvalde who lost loved ones um, at the shooting at Robb Elementary. They came to the legislature with some really simple demands. One of the key um, pieces of legislation they were pushing for H2744 all it would have done was raise the age to purchase um, certain semi-automatic rifles, some of the most deadly weapons um, that we have, to 21. That's all they were asking for. We were proud to stand with those families. And when that bill finally came up for a hearing at the tail end of the legislative session, instead of respectfully hearing what those uh, families had to say, the House committee made those families wait upwards of 11 hours in the hallways of the state house just to have their voices heard, just to be able to tell their stories and speak directly to their representatives. Um, we were you able think that to was get intentional? That I'm sorry? You think that was intentional? You know, re regardless of how intentional it was, process is incredibly important. Those legislators knew that this bill was, an inc was a priority for the Uvalde families. And regardless of intentionality, they knew they were going to be there. And a choice was made to have that process play out the way it did. And it was incredibly disappointing. When we take a look at the other states, were there any states that uh, fared well, like an A or B? And tell me some of the key legislation that they may have passed that made a difference in that scorecard. Absolutely. I think uh, as much as the scorecard is a reflection on what's happened in the past year in states, the scorecard is also a, ro a roadmap forward for progress, right? I think there's a number of states that really stand out as, as taking some, some really great strides in saving lives from gun violence. You can look at other states like Texas that have a really strong history of uh, responsible gun ownership. States like Colorado, you know, that, are, that have just as much of a cowboy culture as Texas, who in recent years have taken some really strong stands and actually received an A- minus this year and is one of the strongest states in the country. So when you look at a state like Colorado, Michigan, Minnesota, again, states with really strong histories of responsible gun ownership, um, Texans can look to those states for inspiration about, you know, what a path forward can look like. Now, when we talk about the legislature, did you guys, because you guys are on the ground at the Giffords uh, Law Center, uh, when, when it comes to legislatures, did you see a presence, a strong presence of lobby, or were these just legislators, lawmakers, with their minds set up, already set, without having that influence from the gun lobby? Well, I, I would actually, on, on the other side of that coin, I think you saw some gun safety groups um, really have a massive impact in terms of getting some results in the legislature that we didn't see coming. Going back to that bill, 2744, working with the um, families from Uvalde, Texas Gun Sense, um, Moms Demand Action, and Texans on the ground, we were able to get that bill out of the committee with an eight to five bipartisan vote. I think we really saw with the push for 2744, when we work together, come together, and lean our shoulder in the same direction, we can move some stuff forward. So I think, you know, the gun lobby is always going to gonna get in there into the conversation. The corporate gun lobby wants to be able to push their guns everywhere agenda. But I think there was a sign of hope in the legislature this year where when Texans really came together and pushed in the same direction, we were able to move lawmakers.
All right, Joe Platt with the Giffords Law Center. We want to thank you and we appreciate the update. Unfortunately, we have to deal with an F here in Texas, but that gives us something to work towards. Thank you for joining us on the Factor on Censor tonight, sir.